Let's jump right into this video. We're going to be setting up Windows Server 2012 as a domain controller. And real quick before we actually add the role, what I want to show you is we go to the local server here. We named it the king during the install and then we also set the IP address to a static IP address so we can get out and of course install updates and whatnot. So, um, But one thing I want to show you is this primary DNS here. It currently has a 192.168.101 which is my PFSense box, my router, my firewall for the environment here. When we set up DNS, it's going to automatically change this to a loopback address, which is good because it's going to point to itself. We're going to, we want this server to use itself as its DNS server to, to resolve names. So, okay, that was just a little tiny bit of information. Let's just jump right into this thing. Let's go back to the dashboard. Uh, we have this number two. We already configured it. So we have number two, add roles and features. We're going to go ahead and add roles. Let's skip this by default. So next time, we don't worry about it. Role base, you're going to select that one. Now this is if you want, if you had multiple servers you're setting up at the same time, you want to set up multiple domain controllers or multiple whatever roles you want to add, you can just select them all, hit them up in one shot. And this is four, so we'll hit next. Okay, we want the Active Directory Domain Services. It's going to show you what it's going to be installing. Add features. All right, we're going to hit next. I'm not going to do anything else here at the moment. Next, next. Uh, I don't want it to restart. I want to kind of control that. I don't think it's going to restart here in 2012. Last time I did it, I don't think it restarted. Okay, it's finished here. I'm going to go ahead and close it. One thing I noticed while I was sitting here waiting for that is the time is off. So I believe it's probably the time zone. Yeah, we're not on the West Coast anymore. So we are Central Time. That is the right time here. So now that the role is installed, it doesn't mean that it's set up and ready to go. What we got to do is actually set it up. So let's go in here. And you can see up here is a little alert. Configuration required for Active Directory Domain Services at the King. Let's go ahead and click more. Post-deployment configuration, blah, blah, blah. Promote this server to a domain controller. That's what I want. Let's click it. Okay, we're going to be adding a new force. This is a brand new domain. Uh, root domain name. Uh, I'm not very creative with this stuff. So how about, how about uh, this is for testing. How about not creative? Now, you don't have to capitalize it, but it's just it's been a habit of mine for a long time. So it's going to be not creative dot internal. Yeah. Next. Okay, the functional level is we're going to leave it the latest and greatest. Uh, this is the only server in this domain. We'll just leave all that. The default, we do want it to install DNS. We want it to be also a domain, uh, DNS server. So that is highlighted. We need to set up a password for the restore the directory services restore mode. I'm just going to punch one in here. Hopefully that takes. Next. Okay, specify DNS delegation option. We'll just leave that. There's nothing you can do in there anyway. So okay, net BIOS domain name. That's fine. Okay, we're going to leave the database and, uh, and everything just defaulted here. In an environment, in a production environment, you may want to put that on another disk, another drive. Okay, next, review it, next. It's going to come up with a couple little prereqs if there are any. Okay, uh, default, okay, it's just cryptographic stuff, delegation, DNS, because there's no other one that's okay, I don't care, it's fine, install. So this part's going to take a little bit. I will be right back when it's done. Okay, I must have missed the uh, auto restart there after the install. So anyways, we're back here, ready to log in. I'm going to do a control delete, which will bring me to my login screen. Now, once I made a login as administrator, um, I have to use the one I put in there earlier. Now it says your password has expired and must be changed. So I hit OK. Let's put in a new password. Oops. Let's get logged into this thing. All right, so we're in, and it uh, shows we have these two roles installed, ADDS and DNS. Also, file and storage services and local server, and they're all red. Uh, I'm not sure if the red means that there's an error or something, or I don't know what the red means yet. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, one day I'll look it up. But anyways, we have it is now set up as a domain controller, and we can verify some of that as by just going to Tools, and we can go to Active Directory Using Computers. And here's our domain structure here for Active Directory. Let's see, we also got DNS. Is that working and running okay? It looks good. There's no uh, red X's or anything. Or lookup zones and not creative. Not internal. All right. I think we are good. And one thing I want to show you is if we go back to the local server, remember I showed you the network interface IP address? 
the DNS setting to be exact. Let's go back and take a look. It switched it to 127.0.0.1. That's good. I think before we used to have to manually do that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's been a while. But anyways, so if you guys have ideas and options and things you want to see, I know I, I do get a lot of requests, but um, you know, please don't don't hesitate to repost them or post new ones and let me know. All right, later.